Man, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Chizzy Boy TV, man. Checking back in, man, with Ra Ra, next upcoming Charlotte female artist. Hey, y'all. <laughs> what it do? What it do? <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? Man, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. This song Waterhead right now, man. Every time I go on Instagram, <laughs> that's all I see right now. As you should. Like, I've been striving to, like, bang this into y'all heads. And what do y'all on? Y'all don't understand, like, what a hit is that hit single. Like, y'all finna be hearing it everywhere, all through the streets. That's what's up, man. I know Lord G did the beat, right? Yes. Shout out to Lord G on the beat, because he hard as fuck, and he already know what's up. That's what's up, man. How you come up with this hit? Well, it was just, you know, a series of sitting down, you know. Lord G, shout out to you again. He sent me a beat pack. I did. I went through the beats, and I heard that beat, and I was like, all right, cool. So... I sat in the car, listened to the beat a couple times. I sat down, I had some punchlines written down. You know, I went through my punchlines and then it all just kind of came together. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I know you um, roll with a lot of people, you know, last year, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you went heavily into music. What made you snap on this switch and say, all right, this is what I'm about to do? Well, sometimes, you know, you just got to kind of sit back and reevaluate things. You know, I just took some time off to kind of get some things together. You know, I'm in school. I got other things I'm trying to do. So I had to lock in real quick, you know, get everything in line. And then I was like, it's time for me to pop back out with this music because I got some heat and I just knew I had some, you know, stories to tell. So it was time to pop back out with this music. That's what it do. You know, far as uh, Charlotte, well, Charlotte female artists or industry artists, what's some of the artists you can see yourself working with in the future? Um, I definitely want to work with like some of the artists like Lotto for sure. Like I'm really on her heavy right now. Like Lotto, I know you're going to see this like girl, <laughs> damn me. Like I got some heat for you. Like for sure. I definitely want to work with like someone like Lorilla, Lotto, somewhere in that category. Cause they really trending right now. And I feel like they flow and style. It definitely like fit with me like very well. That's what's up. I definitely like everything that you're doing and you're doing it by yourself. I don't see a lot of, you know, people slacking around like other female artists. It's just like every time I go on your page, it's you pushing it by yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, how hard is it, you know, to do that? I mean, it's harder because, you know, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know at the end of the day. But me, my dad, you know, we've been working really hard to get to where we are now at this point. You know, he's been putting me through artist development. We've been going out here, you know, trying to build our own team and put our own stuff together because it's just been us from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So we just been hustling hard and he been putting in that the investment behind me and, you know, getting at me, being my motivation. And I just been, you know, being that voice going out here, and actually putting in that work with him. So it's just been us. From the beginning. That's what's up. A lot of people don't know, like, you've been into music. You've been can do music. you just been holding back. Yeah. So how long have you been holding this, you know, secret in that you really know how to make music? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been knowing how to make music my whole life. I love music my whole life since I was a little girl. It's what I grew up around. My dad was in the band. You know, I had an uncle who made beats. He was in the band. You know, I have a family full of entrepreneurs that I look up towards. So growing up, I always loved to sing and dance and rap and make music and write little songs and things like that and so when I hit 16 dad took me to the studio I turned up in the studio and I've been rapping ever since so it's been about four years now that I've been doing music but I'm just now really like popping back out into the streets you know that's what's up so how you feel about the Charlotte female scene right now Oh, it's a lot of, you know, hard rappers and things like that out here. But a lot of people don't have their own swag and their own flavor. And I feel like I bring that to the table because I have my own swag. I don't sound like nobody else. You know, I can bring my own, my own stuff to the table. I went through artist development. A lot of these artists haven't done that. Like a lot of people just jump out here thinking, oh, I'm going to go do this music. I'm about to go do this and that and that. But none of that really matters at the end of the day if you don't know every single little stuff behind this music stuff like you may think you know oh this is how this goes and this is how that go but a lot of people don't go through artist development to actually understand the true meaning behind this music when it comes to the industry business and the music itself and the entertainment part of that so 
That's what's up. I did a movie 704, boys. You and Ness yeah. are you. And yeah. Me. But um, how was that experience, you know, working on a movie for your first time, man? Because you can really act. You just was just like coming with it <laughs> every time we asked you to do a part. Yeah, it was very exciting. It was something new for me to, you know, a new venture for me to kind of head towards, you know, and it was very exciting. I can't wait to do more opportunities like that. It definitely got me started on some newer things and kind of expanding with the entertainment business. Right. Uh, I've been getting into some modeling recently too. So, you know, you need a model, hit me up, check me out. I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'll bring that natural beauty to your brand. I'm telling you something genuine, but not only that, but I've always wanted to get into acting and modeling. So that opportunity bringing itself about was big for me because it gave me, you know, the opportunity to kind of get a hands-on experience into that. Right. So. Right. So now you, you know, mm -hmm. you know what to do with it next time you get <laughs> off a movie road. Hey, <laughs> anybody out there shoot movies right now, make sure y'all tap in with Rock. Talk she to definitely me. take it serious. I'm telling you, you talk to me. And that was a fun experience for me, even working with all y'all for my first time. Yeah. And, you know, getting up like every other day. We always hot outside. <laughs> we right. all going through stuff. And it was just like that. That was something I look forward to getting up every day, you know. Working with y'all, so I definitely thank enjoy you for, it. You know your time as well. Thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying. So, I right, back to this Waterhead song. Explain to me what is a Waterhead. So, as you can hear in the song, I say "nigga head so good." I might just call that nigga Waterhead. A Waterhead is a nigga with some good head. You know what I'm saying? He know what to do. He know how to move that tongue. He know just exactly how to get you right. You know, so. I just thought about it as everybody got their munchies. They got their eaters. They got, oh, that's my little eater. That's my little munch. That's my little whoop de woo My sneaky link. No, that's my little waterhead. That's my <laughs> little waterhead. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like the concept. A lot of people, a lot of people ain't coming with concepts. You know, they just straight rapping about any and everything. You have right. an actual subject and a meaning. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I paid attention to. And I was like, man, I got something here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really, really like this waterhead joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't like too many female artists because they always rap about the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Right. But you definitely came with a concept, killed it. The flow is tight. The beat is tight. And I want to see this song go real far. Thank you. I'm, I'm seeing it go very far. Like, like I said, it's definitely going to be one of the ones that's buzzing through the streets. It's in every club. It's going to be played in every, every single venue you go in. Like, I'm trying to get it out there. So, you know, DJs hit me up. Radio hosts hit me up. Like, I got that heat for you. Hey, they going to hit you up. Just keep pushing it, man. They, they see yeah. you. They see you. Uh, I ask a lot of people this when I do interviews. Uh, is there any advice that you can give to like people that's younger than you coming up trying to do music? You know what I'm saying? To get to like, you know, levels you don't got too far as like reaching out and doing this thing for real. Yeah, just don't be scared to go out there and be you and do you just because there's other artists or other people going about their music the way they do or they feel like they have to show their body or they feel like they have to talk about certain subjects that may not even pertain to their life. Talk about yourself. Talk about what you go through. You don't have to sound like everybody else out here in the streets. At the end of the day, I've had people tell me to go find a new career when I first started rapping. I had people tell me, oh, this isn't for you. I've had people, you know, try to talk down on me but at the end of the day I didn't let it bother me and those some same people that's in my messages now asking me to come through to their events they're asking me to come do interviews with them drop mics with them and they told me to get a new career when I was younger so I just feel like eat your words don't stand on what you say what you stand on right don't let nobody try to divert you off your career path or whatever it is that you want to do and I know exactly how you feel about this situation because Growing up, when I was doing music, I never thought that I'd be filming people today. I was right. started out as a rapper. And, you know, a lot of people told me I wasn't going to make it doing this, doing that. But a lot of them same people ask me for money every day. Literally. <laughs> every day. So it's like. And, and one of the other things I like about you, too, I don't see you, like, like you said, uh, the way you dress, you ain't sh showing your body all crazy and. Stop right. looking. It looked very professional. You always carried yourself professional to me. I'm right. And you're like a little sister to me. So, you know, yeah. I, I definitely like that. I definitely like it. Yeah. 
I strive to show like you don't have to sell yourself and your body to get out there as a female artist because at the end of the day, I'm a country girl and I'm out here in the city where I live in. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really had to catch up to speed because I'm not used to this. So me coming out here, I still wanted to stay myself and remain myself, but I also wanted to get a feel of the city, you know, the city life and right. more fast paced. That's Thank what's you. up. When I first met you, you was into photography as well. Uh huh. So what's up with that? Man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I still have my camera. I still love to like pick it up here and there. You know, uh, it's just kind of hard to kind of lock in on two things at once, especially with me. Like, like I said, I'm in school and I'm doing music at the same time. So. You know, of course, I still, I pick my camera up. I'm still learning with the camera. I love to get, like, hands-on experience with another photographer or videographer so that I can learn the programs and things like that more. But it comes with a lot of studying and stuff behind it, too. So. Right, definitely. If you need any pointers or anything, me and my brother, Buck TV, we'll definitely sit down and help you out with anything. You already know, hit me up. I appreciate gotcha. that. I definitely do. You I know, appreciate that. Before we get up out of here, um, let the people know where they can find you that haven't heard of you yet. Okay, well, you can find me on Instagram at the real QC Rara. That's T H E R E A L Q C R A R A. And I'm on all platforms. So if you go on my Instagram, you click that link in my bio. Y'all make sure y'all tap in and y'all listen to all my music. I also got an open verse challenge going on right right now to my song waterhead so if you haven't yet make sure you go on my page you look at the directions which is tag me make sure y'all put your hardest heat on that motherfucking verse and whoever put the hardest verse on that shit and post it and tag me on there will get a free feature from me oh, so shit. turn I'm me up out of retirement i'm thinking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up man i'm happy to have you here today yeah. man chesy boy tv we got rah rah in the building man signing off man and we got plenty more to go. This is just the first one. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we the turning first up. first interview. We turning me? up. That's a bit. Jesse Boy TV. All right.